When I was young, I had two passions, sports and reading. So, I had two dreams, being an NFL player and a best-selling author. My dad loved watching football and my mom was a teacher, so I was expected to read, but I soon discovered that reading could take me away to other times and places. I called that magic, and I wanted to make magic of my own. I had some great coaches and teachers, and they taught me the way to get to your dreams is through hard work. Far sacked by Tim Green, and he is dropped for the safety, Tim Green. Look at the penetration by Tim Green, 99. So, I worked harder than anyone around me. Tim Green's got him. I ran until I threw up and I studied until my head hurt. To be an elite athlete, you must lift weights. It's not pleasant, but you do it. To be a great doctor or lawyer or teacher or engineer or any great thing you can become through education, you need to read. Reading is weightlifting for your brain. Reading expands your imagination and it makes you smarter. And the great thing about reading is it's supposed to be fun. I began my best-selling author career writing suspense novels for adults. Then I had the chance to write sports stories for kids and I never looked back. Yes, my football books take you behind the scenes of what the NFL is really like, but the pages are also full of life lessons in kindness, tolerance, honesty, and forgiveness, and those things are more important than being a first round draft pick. And I should know because I was a first round pick. When I write a book for you, I also must have action and funny stuff, short chapters, suspense that keeps you turning the pages, and characters that you like. Guys and girls too. Many of the characters in my books are based on real life people. My Football Genius series is full of my own five kids as the main characters. We see you run up this hill, okay? <laughs> Whoa, look at that! My newest book in this series, Final Season, my 40th book in all, is based on my own family's experience with my condition, ALS, and its impact on our youngest son and his teammates. In the final season, I would be able to coach them. Because my ALS was the result of 22 years as a football player, the story is also about the main character's dilemma of whether to continue to chase after the excitement and the glory of championship seasons, or hang up his cleats and eliminate the chance of damaging his own brain. I'm proud of this story, its resolution, and the fact that every dollar I earn from this book will go to tackle LS.